Hi everyone, I'm Leah. I'm Johanna. And I'm Donna again. Yay, Donna's here again. So what do you have for us today? Okay, I'm going to talk about um, an idea that I came up with for a store that I am the design team leader for called The Red Bee, and it's in Tustin. Oh, that's a great store. I yeah, love that's a great that store. Because it's not just scrapbooking. We filmed there. there. Yes, we did. We filmed a lot of shows there because they're huge. But um, they were doing a cruise, and they needed something that was going to be fun and fast and that anybody could do. So I came up with something called a card buffet. And basically, you just cut a bunch of different papers to different sizes. You have all different patterns, a bunch of different embellishments, and you just kind of have it set up like a taco bar where oh, you get to pick fun. and choose what you want to put on your card. And it just, it's fun. Every every card turns out differently. And I actually started using it on my layouts, which I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to be the sketching queen. Mm -hmm. I haven't sketched anything in like six oh, months. Oh, wow. And you just grab yeah. all you just I just grab. I have all of the stuff set up around me, and I just start grabbing colors and things that I like, mixing things up. And I made um, this layout for Iron Orchids. It's a hybrid that I made for Iron Orchid Designs. And um, this is actually kind of an old layout that I did for Freckle Friends. Things. It's just such a great idea for like a party or a cross. Uh, and it's a great, great idea. Yeah, even for kids, yeah. For kids, totally. they can make cards and they have so much fun. But I want to show you this tool okay, from uh, Zutter and it's called the Dream Cut. Ooh. And this thing is amazing. It makes putting these kits together so easy. In the back, there is a single blade. So you just stick it in and you don't have to measure anything. It just cuts whatever you have right in half. And does it always it have that. to be in half? No. There's um, two different blades, and I'll show you the next blade. Okay. So this one, I'm going the wrong way. No, no. Okay. So this one, we'll cut it straight in half. So you get two six by twelve. How <laughs> yeah. fast was that? You have one of these? I have one and of these. And you've never used it. And I've never used it. Now I'm going to because we can do all the kits. In oh, yes. Absolutely. And then the one in the front has two blades, so it will cut whatever you put it into thirds. So you just run that through. And here you have four by sixes. <laughs> She's loving this. Isn't that awesome? Oh, my God. This is great. I'm so I'm happy you showed us this. So okay. because of this, Move it off to the oh. side. My light is showing up. <laughs> I know, I love it. We have stacks of pattern paper that we've cut out in all different shapes. Oh, okay. And so you can just use these to put your card together. So just grab, you can, and this is what I love. Now, somebody had asked about how we store paper, right? Right, we did have a, a viewer. A viewer question. Right, what was the question? Um, Jen Perks asked, how do you store pattern paper? And, you know, I've tried several different ways, mm -hmm. but I store my pattern paper by color. Me too. Um, I tried by brand, but by color works best for me. And I got a local scrapbook store. They got some new um, shelving in, and they got rid of some of their wire racks, oh. and I got a wire rack. And, and it cool. has 12 on each side, so I have 24 slots, nice. and that's how I store my pattern papers. So how do you store your pattern papers? By color. By color. And it's in the um, the the towers that have the individual doors. Okay. So you just stick it in, and I just have them stored by color. Like the Rubbermaid ones? Yes. Or, okay. Yeah. What I if you have, like, a multicolor striped pattern paper where it's, like, evenly all colors? I have, I actually have a couple slots for multi. Okay. But I usually go with the predominant That's color. And then I, a pink rules at my house. Mm -hmm. So I have, like, three slots of pink. And one is kind of florals. Okay. One is maybe stripes. And one is polka dots. Oh, you know, yeah. I kind of break up even. Since you have the space. Because yeah. pink is just, that's the dominant color at my house. Now, even what do you guys do with, like, your extra Pieces like you know when you're cropping and you've got you know like right. these extra little pieces left over. Um, I also I have a hanging file, you know, and it's a big tub. So even if something falls out of the side, it goes into the tub. Okay. And it's a hanging file folder, and I organize it by color mm -hmm. again. And then I have things where it's like every single color, mm -hmm. and then I have a file for special 
which would maybe be mesh or burlap or things like that that aren't really they're not paper. paper. So wait, it doesn't matter if it's a small size or or half a sheet. It all goes in the same file. If it's a um, if it's 12 inches long, a lot of times I put it back in my 12 inch okay. stack. But that's how I store my scraps. Cool. So how do you store your pattern paper? Pattern paper is my it's where I struggle because Your I it's my you nemesis. Be working as well. Oh yeah, I have yes. so much pattern paper. Um, the way I organize it right now is by manufacturer, and the reason why is because manufacturers have the the, the collections of papers that all color coordinate with right. each other, and I'm a lot about fast, fast, fast. Let's get it done. Right. Because I'm a slow oh. scrapbooker. <laughs> but um, once you've used a few sheets of that, um, and you used up some of the papers in the collection, what do you do with it? That's why I'm really interested in this idea. So maybe once I can keep it, maybe as manufacturer collections, but maybe eventually move into into color coordination, color mm -hmm. coordinating, because that just I just can't seem to control the pattern paper I have. Well, for me, the the smaller pieces that aren't 12 by 12 anymore, I put into this box, and I have it also that verges out by color. By color, and it's it's. You know, you have, all the, you have the coolest boxes. And my name's on the front because I forget who I am every now and then. <laughs> so do I. But it's all separated out by color, and then I can just pull them out. And in fact, that's where we pulled a lot of the pieces for the cards that we're making. Right. Reach in here. Oh my gosh. So, so what do you have in these boxes up here? Oh, oh these, those are my goodie boxes. Ooh. And these were sent to me by Melissa Francis. Thank you, Melissa Francis. Oh, I love these. They have. Yeah. All these little spots in them, and they're just perfect. Cause I have I have lots of metal embellishments, and it helped me to separate everything out, condense it all. Everything's easy to find. You have several different. So cute. Drawers, and it's cute. That's I'm still I, standing I don't, up. I I think my I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> and is this one by Melissa Francis? That's Melissa Francis as well. And that has all my letters separated How out. Cute. Look at letters. that. Just, I love these boxes. I love They're it. They're fantastic. I, I love your your storage containers. Did you ever see um the article in Scrapbook Center with Erica Jones? Scrapbook. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you remind me very much of her in, in your storage containers. Oh, very okay. creative. So lots I love of fun. her. Her um, her room is amazing. I'm, I'm doing very good. Although <laughs> I need letters. I need some oh, I've got some letters. I've got some letters. So this is a great idea. I would go nuts at a card buffet. Oh my oh gosh, my this gosh. is so much fun. And kids and moms, everybody, they all get into it together and it's just the best time. I love doing these. Oh, okay, so I'm done with my card. Woo! Oh, cute! So it's hard. Very cute. It's so, it was so simple. But okay, see, and look at, this is what I think is so much fun, is that they're all coming out so differently. Yeah. Very cute. See. This is, who makes, it, who makes these fuzzy? Stickers, American Crafts. Really? Mm-hmm. So, we're all done with our cards. Yep. Oh, Please. my gosh. They're so cute. I like that. What I liked about this is everything was laid out, and I am way too lazy to get up and cut something out right. or go get it unless it's right there. So I never would have made this at home. I, I'm too lazy. <laughs> but I keep all of the things that I've cut out, I keep them in my, my card buffet box. And then if I need to make a card, I just make one. It's all there. It all fits and everything. Love it. Love it. Love it.